Hey guys, first time trying to make fried rice. And I think I'm about to burn it up. So. I'm turning the stove down. I put about two tablespoons of oil. Two, um. Two, um, cups of rice. Been trying to stir it constantly so I don't burn it. I'm going to use my leftover beef that I cooked the other day and um, some leftover vegetables. Got my egg, gonna get my onion cut up, and I'm gonna go from there. Hold tight. Can't believe it actually came out really brown. So, okay. So I'm gonna just come to a boil and then I'm gonna simmer it down and cover it. And then I'm gonna go from there. I saw somebody just do this on YouTube, so I thought I would try. Let me bring this to a boil and get my rice cooked. And then I'll get all my seasons and stuff. In addition, I wanted to cook some spaghetti. <coughs> Something I've never done. I put it all in one pot. <laughs> the spaghetti, the noodles, the... I didn't boil the noodles. I just put it all in here. The meat went hardly all the way done. I threw everything in there. And just letting it cook. And the spaghetti noodles are actually cooking. There's one patch that's a little stuck together. Let me stir this so it doesn't stick to the bottom. I'm ready for that to come to a boil. When it comes to a boil, oh shoot, sorry about that. The rice has come to a boil, so I'm going to turn it down to about medium and cover it for about 10 minutes and let it finish cooking. Let's see how that works out. So, 15 minutes later, my rice is done and cooked. It's completely brown. I have all my vegetables ready. I have some green onion, some bread, um, bread onion, green peppers, some, um, um, baked leftover garlic and there's some ginseng up under there. Here's my leftover shredded beef and here is my leftover. This is was I used this yesterday for tacos and this was a, um, a taco slaw and I saw the lady put some um, country living. I saw her put um, romaine in her um, fried rice and she made the fried rice so I'm gonna do all that. So leftovers, leftover pretty much leftover vegetables from my um, vegetable tray um, rice. What I'm trying to do is stay at home and stop going out cooking. So I'm going to make this my first um, episode of Netta's Nest and cooking and staying home. Some lifestyle stuff and who knows what's to come. And we'll just go from there. But the rice is unbelievably brown. I've never, I've never done this before. Made brown rice this way. It smells a little scorched, but what I'm going to do is let it get cooled down some. I'm going to cover it, let it come come down to a cool, get a little bit firm. I have my egg already stirred up in here and some butter, and I'm going to go from there. And that spaghetti came out. Look at this, guys. Let me come over here. I didn't even boil the spaghetti. 
and water. I just put everything in the pot and let it cook. And it cooked. I've been slowly adding water to it so that it doesn't scorch. If I would have known this, I would have been cooking my spaghetti like this years ago. And I see people do it in the oven like that, one pot spaghetti. But I'm floored with that. Ground beef, um, some leftover um, garlic, a little bit of some Italian seasoning, um, some um, salsa, because I don't cut up a lot. I've used all my leftover vegetables for my fried rice. Half a container of salsa, half a thing of um, prepared um, the sauce, a pinch of sugar, a tablespoon of butter, and I covered it, and that's what happened. I'm amazed. Hold tight. I'm back. I added my egg. I'm just going to let that just kind of sit there, and I'm just going to fold it a little bit once it starts to set, and then I'll fold it into the rice, and then I'll add my vegetables and my meat, and I'll cover, and I'll just let the steam just finish cooking everything. I'm pretty much bulk cooking today. It's gonna be whichever meal someone wants to choose to eat today, and hopefully this will last until Wednesday, and I don't have to cook until about Wednesday or Thursday, when my husband gets sick of leftovers, which he does. He likes leftovers, but you know, don't wear him out. So I'm gonna turn this up a little bit more, let this warm up a little bit more, and let this egg start to set, and then I'm gonna fold it in. Alrighty, got my vegetables in there, got my eggs in there, everything's going. Let's try to stir this up without, and I added some soy sauce, and try to stir it up without um, throwing it out the pot. And then I'll put the lettuce over and let's let it wilt down. This is without the lettuce and the beef. And that ginger, that I put in there, oh we, it has, um, and the soy sauce really made a significant difference. I've never had fried rice that come out looking like this. Okay, let me finish it up guys and I'll let you guys know. I'm ready to dive in. Beef and lettuce added. I'm going to cover it, let it steam down and warm up. And then I'm going to give it a quick um, stir. I'm going to add some more green onions on top and then I'll serve. I'm going to be surprised with y'all. Let's take a peek. Uh, I think I need a bigger pot. Stick. Let's turn it down. Well, guys, this is shredded pork fried rice. Oh, Kayla had a sample for me. that came out pretty fabulous I'm ready to eat uh, vegetables got a little soft the egg is still all throughout it the peppers you know everything at the meat nice and well mixed and I've never had no idea that that's been lettuce the whole time I thought it was some type of funky cabbage that they put in the Chinese food um, when I usually eat Asian food I love bean sprouts but once again this is cooking within your cupboard cook what you have at home and stay out of the store and this is beef that I've used the third meal for it was a roast turned into tacos and now it's shredded fried rice thank you guys for hanging out with me have a good one bye bye